Hello again, uh, welcome to another episode of the uh, Fat Chat Show. I'm John, as you can probably uh, guess by now. Uh, we're back in my kitchen here at uh, Cellar Park House Hotel. It's uh, coming up to Christmas and New Year, so I'm going to be doing um, some canapes, nibbles, or little light bites, whatever what you want to call them, that you can have with a glass of champagne, either on Christmas Day or New Year's Eve, uh, to enjoy it. I'm going to be doing three different sorts, uh, and that's to go with uh, some fantastic champagne from uh, Mr. Jared Richardson, from Richardson's Wine in Whitehaven. Okay, so then the first one is gonna be a Cool Jet Roll. It is dead easy, dead simple, and just take thin strips of the courgette, and as you can see, I've already done some here. We take the courgette strips, lay them on some greaseproof paper, just take some olive oil, it doesn't need to be anything expensive, just some nice olive oil, and just smear that over the courgette slices, and just a touch of salt over these, like so. To fill this, we need the cream cheese. Okay, this is just, Box standard cream cheese, any cream cheese that you can get in the supermarket. A squeeze of lemon juice. Some cracked black pepper. A touch of salt. Some toast, toasted pine nuts, dead easy. Just get some pine nuts into a dry pan, put them on the heat and just toast them just so they go a nice golden colour. And we're going to drop some of those in. And we're going to get some basil leaves, which we're just going to shred. Like so, put those in and just mix it up just into a nice smooth smooth paste and as you can see you can see the basil there maybe a few more pine nuts just taste just to make sure okay that's great you get the basil taste there brilliant nice crunch from the um, nice crunch from the uh, pine nuts the toasted pine nuts and it's dead easy all we're going to do I'm just going to take a little bit of the mix I'm just going to pop that on dead easy and all we're going to do just roll that up. Okay, we've not cooked these courgettes as you can remember. All we've done is just smeared a little bit of olive oil on there and a touch of salt, and it just makes them a little bit more pliable for us so that we can roll them. Okay, like so. Prep these up in advance and put them on a tray, cling film them, keep them in the refrigerator, and that way. You can enjoy the uh, you can enjoy your glass of champagne as well as your, your guests or whatever, and you can just take the clean film off and pick them up. Glass of champagne, pick them up and eat them. Second one I'm going to do is a Thai style um, crab salad, and again this is really really easy. I'll take some little gem lettuce that we've washed off and kept nice and cool. This is micro coriander. We've got some shredded carrots. We're just going to pop pop a bit of that in. We've got some shredded peppers, red peppers. And again, if there's anything that we're putting in these today that you, that you don't like, just take it out. If you want to put something else in, then go for it. The whole idea with cookery is that you can add or take anything out that you like. So the, we've got some uh, lime zest there. We're just gonna put a bit of that in. The thing with Thai cookery, the idea is it's sweet, sour, salty, and hot. So those, that's what we're trying to achieve with this. So we've got some chilies. Uh, so we're gonna put that in. And again, it's entirely up to you. If you don't like spicy, leave the chili out it's not an issue we've got some ginger simmered it for about 20 minutes in um, half water and half sugar solution just to take out some of that bitterness so we're just going to pop a bit of that in like so a touch of lime juice just to counterbalance the sweetness of the ginger that i've just put in then obviously the crab and this crab is um by now most of you all know that i've a very good friend of mine steve hallett uh raven glass fish who I get all my fish from. So this is uh, this is from Steve. And then we've got some light soy sauce, quite salty, so you have to be careful with this. Okay, just a dash of that. And then we've got some sesame oil, like so. And then all we're gonna do is just mix this up, and then we're just gonna place this into the lettuce leaves. So as I say, the, the idea with these is that you can just pick them up and pop them into your mouth. Well, you, you can if you have a mouth the size of mine anyway. And then I think what we'll do is we'll top these with a little bit more of the coriander like so so there you go that's your thai crab salads the third one i'm going to do is a crostini which i'm going to top with some crushed uh, roasted butternut squash with sage top that with some air dried ham uh, and a crispy sage leaf and this is fantastic ham this is from just up the road this is from waddles up at wabbathwaite really well known in the area fantastic butchers We've just crisped up some sage leaves and just dropped them into the deep fat fryer. Diced up the butternut squash as you can see and in there we've shredded up some fresh sage leaves, some salt and pepper and some olive oil and we've roasted that in the oven for around 15-20 minutes. 
you can just use toast if you wish or you can just um, or you could olive oil your bread and just pop it through the oven so we've toasted those off we've got our crostinis we're just going to crush up the butternut squash with the sage that we've roasted off earlier so we're just going to top these like so and then we're just going to take some of the ham and all we're going to do is we're just going to tear this we're just going to put this on top like so if you're vegetarian obviously you can leave the ham off and then we're just going to pop the crispy sage leaf on top there's your crostinis with your roasted butternut squash with sage your woodles air dried ham and uh, crispy sage leaves courgette and cream cheese rolls we've just topped with um, some more toasted um, pine nuts and I'm just going to pop on Thai crab salad like so whole idea with these is that you can just pick them up with one hand and pop them into your mouth while you're enjoying a nice glass of champagne for Christmas Day or New Year's Eve. So we've uh, kindly been uh, given a bottle of champagne from uh, our very good friend Jerry Richardson from Richardson's Wines in Whitehaven. Uh, so I'm going to open it and we're going to try it and we're going to uh, sample it with these uh, fantastic canapes that we made. Thank you very much Jerry. Looks brilliant. In here we've got a sugar solution which we've reduced down with um, some more champagne and a little touch of brandy and I don't know whether you can see that in there but we'll see it in a moment when we drop it in. We've actually got some uh, some lovely little uh, sparkly dust. Hopefully as the bubbles rise it should mix through the champagne. We'll take a strawberry. As it's new year why not spoil ourselves. So there we go. So thank you very much for watching the uh, last episode of the Fat Chat Show for 2013 and uh, here's hoping you all have a uh, fantastic new year and uh, more episodes of the Fat Chat Show in 2014. Happy New Year! <laughs> I've got a strawberry up my nose. Did you take the strawberry off and try again? <laughs> I told him he was going to be like this. <laughs> <laughs>